Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Angela and today I am watching Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I don't know. <laughs> is the world fighting Scott Pilgrim? Does he have to defeat the world? Who's the world? I don't know what any of this means. The only things that I know about this movie is that Michael Sarah is in it and he is wonderful and sweet, except for the movie where he slapped Rihanna's ass. I'm not quite sure which one that one was, but other than that, he's always just been very charming. And then uh, Chris Evans with some like crazy eyebrows. I don't know what those are for. I don't know what that's about, but uh, that's really all I know. This was a Patreon poll winner, so if you are interested in voting in future movies that you would like for me to watch, head on over to my Patreon. Full-length reactions for uh, all television shows that I watch and movies are available over there. You will need your own copy because of copyright, but uh, if you're interested in that, great. If not, also cool, but if you want to be uh, in control of things that I see, then you have a little bit more power if you are a Patreon member. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm not going to fuss around. Let's get into it. Oh, it's on like the little picture thing. And uh, Kieran Culkin, I like him. Anna Kendrick, who a lot of people are like, you remind me of her, not because of how I look, but I think my humor and my demeanor sometimes kind of comes off like hers. Very self-deprecating and directed by Edgar Wright, which he's responsible for, I think, a lot of stuff that I like. I think I'll have to look that up afterwards and just make sure before I talk out of turn. <laughs> Not so long ago, in the mysterious land of Toronto, Canada. Very mysterious Toronto. Scott Pilgrim was dating a high schooler. Okay. Okay. I so far really like the way that this is being made. I'm 22. 22. He's 22? You're dating a high school girl. Not bad, not bad. Illegal. Dude, thank you. We almost held hands once, but then she got embarrassed. Well, are you pleased as punch? I don't know what you're talking about. So what's She's in name? high school. Knives Chow. Knives Chow. She's Chinese. Sounds like it. Yep, yep. Sounds like a Chinese food so restaurant. When we get to meet her? Oh, please let it be soon. <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> Hi. She's real? She's cute. Can you play the drums? Yes. Oh, That's they're so in a band. Awesome. What do you play? Wow. Um... He just lives here. Zelda, Tetris, <laughs> that's kind of a big question. He's my favorite so far. All right. The, the opening gave me zero as to what this is about. <laughs> Brie Larson, I love her. And Aubrey Plaza, this is a stacked cast. Brandon Routh, love him too. Jason Schwartzman. I don't know who Johnny Simmons is. It's the first person I don't know. Okay, so far I'm very intrigued, except for the whole dating a high schooler thing when you're not in high school. Five years isn't bad when you're like 30. <laughs> it is when you're 17. Before you hear some dirty lies from someone else, yes, I'm dating a 17 year old. Oh, is he cute? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have to stop sleeping together. What is happening? So, so a lot as well as it's got it. year old thing. Don't tell too many people. Hey, you know me. I mean, everyone's going to know. 17 years old scandal. That's not true. <laughs> Who told you? Wallace Dove, a 17 year old Chinese schoolgirl. You're ridiculous. It's a Catholic school, too. With the uniform and everything? Yeah, the whole deal. It's awful. You're too good for him. Run. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, I see. They're on the same maturity level. That makes sense. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. They must play often. Oh, oh, I got it. So I'm not really liking Scott that much. Um, excuse me. 
Do you have anything by the Clash at Demon Head? Have you tried the section marked the Clash at Demon Head? Thank you, Julie. Are you coming to my party Friday or will you be busy <laughs> babysitting? Has issues. <laughs> I've never even kissed a guy. Don't start now, please. Hey. No, 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 no. Oh, on principle alone, this is so uncomfortable. What's happening? You're not alone. You're just having some idiotic dream. <laughs> Does that mean we can make out? Oh, God. I don't know what's happening. She's dope. Hey, Kama, you know everyone, right? You know this one girl with hair like this? Yes, that's Ramona Flowers. Somebody said she was going to be here tonight, actually. <laughs> what? Scott, you get the hospital for her or something? Like, I got to tell you, though, uh, I hear that she's a little hardcore. <laughs> See, superpowers I don't know about? You just got to look for purple. Yeah, there she is. Or is it hot pink? Hot pink. Am I dreaming? I'll leave you alone forever now. Thanks. I mean, you might be. Shit seems like it's going down. That wasn't what it looked like. That time you dumped Kim. Okay, or... me and Kim are all good now, all right? I don't think you and Kim are all good at all. <laughs> You're thinking of juggling two chicks. Not even. Well, you should break up with your fake high school girlfriend. Wait, who told you? <laughs> Holy stuff. He's not even conscious. Whatever. <laughs> Amazon.ca, what's the website for that? Amazon.ca. You've got mail. Dude, this thing claims I have mail. It's amazing what we can do with computers these days. <laughs> Dear Mr. Pilgrim, it has come to my attention that we will be fighting soon. My name is okay. Matthew Patel and blah, 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 blah. Mono e mono, seven evil, blah, blah. This so is, this is the versus the world part. This is... This is... What? This is boring. Delete. <laughs> Are you waiting for the package you just ordered? Maybe. He is dumb. He is dumb as a box of rocks. Game over. Do you want to keep going? Um. Nine, eight, I think. Seven. You got a duel coming up. I feel like you should be uh, playing Nega Ninja here. If we win, it won't just be knives wearing sex bomb shirts. It'll be the cool kids too. I hate that name so much. Yeah, that's Does he have to fight like in the Battle of the Bands? Oh I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. P-Bar. <laughs> I just woke up and you were in my dream. I dreamt that you were delivering me this package. Is that weird? It's Take the weird package. Okay, well, maybe... Do you want to hang out sometime? Get to know each other? Don't be weird. If I say yes, we sign for your damn package. So yeah, 8 o'clock? Throws it away? <laughs> Is that why you left New York? Pretty much. Just time to head somewhere a little more chilled. Well, it's certainly chilled here. It's chilled as in cold. Yeah. The door. Come on. Does he have a brain tumor? Is that why all this is happening? <laughs> Just gonna marry Poppins over here. What about our tea? I can... Not have to. The guy that's got no game got this? I don't want to have sex with the Pilgrim. Not right now. Oh, okay. Well, this is nice. Just this. You're welcome. How the hell did that happen? This is Wallace, his roommate. Hey. This is my boyfriend, Jimmy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace. <laughs> they have a girl drummer. The song is called I Am So Sad. I am so very, very sad. He looks like he is forever sad. This is a nightmare. Oh, we need to play now and loud. Okay. 
Give it up for Sex Bob Arm. Okay, I definitely like it when Kim says the name. I take you to the dump. What are these lyrics? <laughs> I'll take out your junk. Okay. Oh, It is I, Matthew Patel. Consider our fight begun. What is happening? But I love it at the same time. I guess playing the ninja game is useful. And I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. Oh. For what? Anyone need another drink? I, I will take one. So, he has to fight her ex-boyfriends? Evil ex-boyfriends? What's up with his outfit? Is he a pirate? Pirate? Pirates are in this year? <laughs> <laughs> Mystical powers? <laughs> You'll pay for this full hours. The rhyming. The rhyming is fantastic. You want to fight me. What? Ha. You're not the brightest. Uh, you might want to find your key there, buddy. That doesn't even rhyme. You're going to defeat him? Nice. Should I be excited? <laughs> this is so weird. Well, it's nice meeting you. Tell your Does this happen every time she wants to go out with somebody new? Friend? Wallace, again? Oh my. If we're gonna date, you may have to defeat my seven evil exes. Seven? seven There's six more? Seven evil exes, yes. Does that mean we can make out? Sure. Cool. Where is the game? The... <laughs> I don't understand. You have to break up with knives. Yes. Or Angel. Today. Immediately. <laughs> but it's hard. Pussy. I can't stand Scott. He drives me crazy. Who's Lucas Lee? Oh, he was a pretty good skater. No, he's a pretty good actor. Oh. He's filming a Winifred Haley movie in Toronto right now. They make movies in Toronto? Lucas Lee is not important to you right now. Get out. <laughs> Lucas Lee is very important to me, though. The next click you hear is me hanging up. The one after that is me pulling the trigger. <laughs> Are you even allowed to date outside your race or whatever? Oh, I don't care. Scott. I'm... In... No. <sighs> I can't believe he's got two girls that like actually want to date him in this movie. Scott, you are the salt of the earth. Oh, thanks. I meant scum of the earth. There Thank you go. You. Maybe soon you'll meet my new, new girlfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you're here. Yes, like New hair color. I change my hair every week and a half to get used to it. So... What, was he in love with the hair color? I think it looks good. You doing okay there? Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> she changed her hair. So it looks nice, Blue. Yeah, I know, but it she does. not even making a big deal of it or anything. God, what am I gonna do? Can't believe you're worried about me getting up the place. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you strike out in the next hour, come find me at the castle. If I strike out? Okay, win. See you in 60. <laughs> I wrote a song about you. You did? Yeah, it goes like this. Can't wait to hear it when it's finished. Yep. Finished? <laughs> but it'd be cute or short, wouldn't it? What? What? Why are you wearing that hat? I thought we could go for a walk. I'm having a hard time liking Scott. I'm having a really hard time liking him. Did you find the guy you're stalking? 
think about oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. right now. Mr. Lee Mr. is Lee. Mr. Lee? Lucas Lee. Lucas Lee. Oh. Is that an ex-boyfriend? You dated a famous guy? In ninth grade, we had drama. Actually, it might have been math. I just remember there being a lot of drama. Hey! Just, <laughs> this little brat, he just followed me around. The only thing keeping me and her apart is the two minutes it's gonna take to kick your ass. Can I have your, can I have your autograph, please? <laughs> He seems nice. <laughs> I mean, I like Lucas better than Scott, so works for me. Scott, evil X, fight. <laughs> I'm not double. Oh, oh, looks stunt. like you see a double. <laughs> I would say stunt double, but it didn't come out. Whoa, lots of stunt doubles. Oh god. Well, this is practice fighting hey, seven people at once, so go for it. always get his sloppy seconds. How does it <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying Wallace's part in all of this. And I'm very impressed with Michael Sarah being able to do all these fighting scenes. Obviously, he's got a stunt double working and doing that. I loved that. And this. I really like when Scott gets his ass whooped. I don't I just I really don't like Scott. Somebody get me my board. <laughs> Hi. Big fan. Why wouldn't you be? I adore Wallace. <laughs> I want him to be my gay bestie roommate. Wow. wow. Oh, an explosion. She totally bailed. Hey, where's Ramona? Is she still here? She totally bailed. What's the deal? Seriously. It's obviously you have to go to the next level, and that's where she is. Step up your game, Scott. Break out the L word. Lesbian? The <laughs> other L word. She says. Lesbians? <laughs> You're stupid, Scott. <laughs> Envy? Oh shit. Been a while. Do you have a girlfriend? Should I be jealous? I just realized that that's Brie Larson. Everything does suck. Or does it? Nilo. <laughs> oh, hey, knives. I just got here. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So dramatic. <laughs> Coming. Jeez. What I'm is really this? Not in the mood for this? But what is it? Okay, enough. <laughs> well, I'm really, really not up for this. Whatever it is. Okay. Who is this? Chicken, because next time, I'll be deadly serious. Next time. What? Never mind. <laughs> I totally understand if you don't want to hang out anymore. No, no, I, I want to hang. It's, you know, the whole evil ex-boyfriend thing. Is, it's no biggie. He seems to be handling it well, though. I mean, besides when he's this guy, but when he's the fighting guy, he seems to really be able to handle it. And you didn't bang her? Are you gay? I couldn't stop thinking about my stupid ex-girlfriend. Is that the Uma Thurman movie? Scott. No, oh, oh just God. Why are they all in, in one bed? It not over. I will think of Envy Adams no more. Except every second of every day. I have distressing news. Clash of Demon Head are doing a secret show tomorrow night, and Envy asked us to open for them. I hate you. A gig is a gig is a gig is a gig. For the band? Can't we do our for own? For the band? Can't we do our own secret shows? <laughs> All our shows are secret shows. We're doing it. <laughs> we play the next round of the battle on Tuesday. We gotta get some buzz going. We need stalkers. Ah, there's one right there. <laughs> He only likes her because she's old. She's probably like 25. Oh, she's just a fat ass white girl, you know? <laughs> I think you mentioned she was fat. Oh, God. Did I look so... Cool. Good. Ramona Flower stole my scarf. But I know how to get him back. I feel like Neil and Knives just need to be together. Level with me? Did we suck? I don't know. 
Did you? She has to go. She knows we suck. <laughs> or maybe don't suck. Hey. What the hell? <laughs> How'd she even get in here? She's only 17. How old is she? I like it. I like those two together. It's only a three year difference, too. I gotta pee on her. I mean, I gotta pee. <laughs> what? I knew you were. I like it. A blonde Brandon Routh. I love it. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but Envy Adams would like you all to come backstage. All of us? Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> Does Aubrey Plaza just play herself and everything? I've kissed the lips, I kiss you! <gasps> oh, oh, God! Nice. Not knives! What? Oh. I'm not afraid to hit a girl. I don't like Todd. You are incorrigible. I don't know the meaning of the word. Not surprised. <laughs> You'll pay for your crimes against humanity! Oh! Oh! I like that. I dig the superpowers. Didn't you know? Todd's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Short answer, being vegan just makes you better than most people. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> They're better than me because I like meat. That's a weird thing to put on the internet. If you knew the science, maybe I'd listen to what you say. <laughs> he doesn't even know what incorrigible means, but he knows that. If I peed my pants, would you pretend I just got wet from the rain? It's not raining. <laughs> oh. <laughs> If there's a key element in his backstory that's going to help me out in a critical moment of not dying, yes. Meat. Obviously meat. <laughs> we have unfinished business, I and he. He and me. Don't you talk to me about grammar. I dislike you, Capiche? <laughs> Capiche? Because you'll be dust by Monday. Um. And the cleaning lady? She cleans up. Dust. She dusts. Yeah, it's a wild threat. So what's on Monday? Because <laughs> you used to be so nice. Just gotta like kill him with some bacon or something. Take away his powers by feeding him a steak. Sounds like someone wants to get funky. <laughs> Base battle. Is that a boss battle? I love it. Ooh. That seems really good. <laughs> I hate him for smacking a girl, but he seems really cool. Fair trade blend with soy milk? Dude, I can see in your mind's eye. That you put half and half into one of those coffees in an attempt to make me break Smart. the vegan edge. I'll take the one with soy. Is that a trick? Actually, muchacho, I poured the soy in this cup. What are you talking about? Did I Just think milk was gonna win this fight? No. Vegan police! Vegan police! It's only my first offense, so don't I get three strikes? I mean, at 12:27 a.m. on February 1st. You know only ingested gelato. I love both of these guys. I wasn't vegan. On April 4th, 7.30 p.m., you partook of a plate <laughs> of chicken parmesan. Chicken isn't vegan? <laughs> you once were a vegan, but now you will be gone. Vegan. Well, all right. Nice to see Thomas Jane. And the other guy I always forget, but I like him in whatever he does. For the record, I am so pissed off for you right now. Shut the f*** up, <laughs> <laughs> This ex-boyfriend's thing is messing with my head. Exes. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this chick? A girl from earlier? Wait, an ex-girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> 
It was just a phase. Just a phase? You had a sexy phase? It meant nothing. <laughs> Oh. Do that again, and I will end you. Back off, Haspian. <laughs> Haspian? <laughs> this is happening, right? Oh, yeah. Kick her in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying the way that these fights are filmed. Uh, I don't think I can hit a girl. That's fair. Soft. Oh. <laughs> A loophole. <laughs> the weak points the back of her knees. Wait, how does that work? Well, Just that hit it. Out, I would... <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. P.S. Here's your stupid list. Thank you. Who the hell are twins. the Tianagi twins? You don't know? No. You know what? I don't know and I don't want to know. Good. Because you know how I feel about <laughs> girls getting locked in the rock. But we'd understand if you didn't want to take part. Not only do I want to take part, I want to take them apart. Okay. Oh, Schwartzman. That must be Gideon. Scott! They tore the roof off! Woo! I love this. Uh, let's just break up now and get it over with. You screwed <laughs> the boots in front of Gideon Graves. Gideon's here? Where? That geeky guy next to your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. That's Gideon? Okay, how do they defeat it this time? Okay. Dare I say that seemed easy? I feel like Gideon's gonna be the hard one. Oh, he's got an extra Wait, life. Really? That's Getting gonna come in handy, I bet. Getting a life? <laughs> Great, listen, I know you play mysterious and aloof just to avoid getting hurt. And I know you have reasons for not wanting to talk about your past. And I want you to know I don't care about any of that stuff because I'm in lesbians with you. Wrong L word. Three piece rock outfit with a smoking hot red hood on drums. Music to my ear holes. Mm. You know what? I'm not even gonna wait <laughs> to see you guys do the final. See? Not such a bad guy after all. So he won't have to fight Scott. The whole League of Evil Lexus thing. I was in a really dark place when I put that together. So. Forgive him. All right, let's go! So he's the reason why. They ha he has to fight all the, the exes. I said lesbians. You did. You did, kiddo. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> so pathetic. <laughs> Next time, we don't date the girl with 11 evil ex-boyfriends. Seven. Oh, that's not that bad. Presumably, you just saw some guy's junk, and I apologize mm. for that. Okay. And mm. he apologizes too. Sorry. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> you know I love you. She's with Gideon. Oh, man. It's probably just because he's better than you. Mm. Ouch. Jeez. Hello. Hey, pal. I just want to say mm -hmm. I feel terrible about earlier. Is Ramona with you? I don't know. Are you with me? Yeah. No! Jeez, buddy, it's gonna be all right. Obviously not because she wants to be. Okay, ladies. What a perfect asshole. Forget oh. what I said earlier. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
Just take your time tying your shoe. You gotta make sure they stay tied. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Running stance. Password. Whatever. Cool. No. Oh. <laughs> Second password. Cool. <laughs> Somebody get this man a drink, uh, Coke Zero, right? Oh. You want to fight me for her? Was that yeah. not clear? Was that not clear? Now, why on earth? Because I'm in love with her. Scott earned the power of love. Wow. Instead of I'm in lesbian with you. One, two, three, four. Okay. Henchmen. Of course there's henchmen. I'm digging the sword. Good job, Scott. Ooh, ooh, ooh. An actual sword fight. Love it. Oh no. Not that I want Gideon to win, but not that I want Scott to win either. Then I shall be forced to grant you a swift exit from the premises and a fast entrance into hell. <laughs> Knives! Knives? You'll pay for what you did to him! Listen, Kung Pao Chicken. Oh, Your no, old, no. old boyfriend mm -hmm. brought this all on himself. No. I'm he... not talking to you. I'm talking to her! Oh. What? You broke the heart that broke mine. Get ready to tear down! <laughs> I kind of dig knives like this, though. You're kidding, right? She's ridiculous, but I still, like, love this. There's so much going on right now. Oh! Can we please stop all this fighting? Nobody stole anybody. Knives, I dated you and then I dated Ramona, okay? Maybe I forgot to tell Knives right away. Mm -hmm. She did it on me, Scott. Is there a difference? You weren't wronged? Mm hmm. No! Game over. You can cheat on these ladies all you like, but you can't cheat death. But he has an extra life. I, I, the, I want Ramona to win this whole thing. Can't help myself around him, Sky. He just it's this way of getting into my head. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Yep. I really will leave you alone forever now. No, I mean, it literally has a way of getting into my head. Wait, what? That is evil. Super evil. Maybe I'm not the one you should have been fighting for. What? 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 Yourself. What? I feel like I learned something. Good, good, good. Which would be what? great if I wasn't dead. You have an extra life. Right. Yay! Here I am cheering for Scott. I would really like Ramona free. <laughs> I could give two shits about Scott. You want to fight me? For her? No. no. I want to fight you for me. There we go. Scott earned the power of self-respect. Nice! So I'm actually thinking I'm not supposed to have liked Scott the whole movie until now. Because now I'm like, this is awesome. I like this, Scott. You dick. <laughs> ah! Oh. This fat ass hurt me. And I will have my revenge. No knives, I hurt you. I cheated on you. I cheated on both of you. I'm really sorry. So are we all good? Yay! <laughs> well, okay. Oh. <laughs> His cockiness is very high. 
Nice. You made me swallow my gum. <laughs> And we know that they fight well together because the game they're playing at the arcade. Yeah. Still my girl. Let's both be girls. <laughs> Jeez. What? Get ready. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Bye, Gideon. You know how long it took to get all the Evil X's contact information so I could form this stupid league? Like two hours. <laughs> two hours. It's a lot of work for him, I'm sure. I'm blowing up right now. You are blowing up. Right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Seven billion. Still getting paid, right? A lot of coin lying around. Hard deal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can defeat me, Scott. But can you defeat yourself? Oh. Whoa. Mega Scott. Mega Scott. Mega Scott. Solo round. Yeah, all right. They have this incredible French toast with like bananas on it. You get bacon on the side. I'm liking that. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Are they friends? Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, all right. Be good. Yeah. yeah. Be good. <laughs> we, uh, we actually have a lot in common. Yeah, yeah, you should. It's getting really shaggy. It is. <laughs> Should probably disappear. I came here to escape, but the past keeps catching up. I should thank you, though. For what? For being the nicest guy I ever dated. It's kind of sad. Mm-hmm. He just went through all that and then didn't even get the girl, and then Don't he's with the high her. school girl. What? You've been fighting for her all along. That's what I'm saying. I'll be fine. <laughs> She's got a long life ahead of her. I'm too cool for you anyway. And she has to graduate high school. Mind if I take along? You want to come with me? <laughs> yeah. Thought uh, maybe we could try again. He's absolutely the worst. <laughs> Continue. Nine, eight, two, one. Okay. Okay. That was uh that was definitely something that was a great movie. I love the way that it was filmed. Um I love uh Edgar Wright. Like I had to look it up real quick because I wanted to make sure so I didn't want to talk out of turn um and say like, oh, he's the guy that filmed, you know, Shot of the Dead and he's responsible for all those movies. Um I think the Coronetto trilogy. Um, uh, <laughs> but you can kind of tell the way everything's cut that is very much, uh, his style. Um, but then like the whole comic book video game kind of intertwining part of everything, the defeating of the seven X's and every fight scene I thought was actually phenomenal. Probably my favorite part about the movie. Um, and I, I, I love the way the majority of it was filmed. And obviously you can tell when, uh, they're using a stunt person for Michael Sarah, but I thought I thought the stuff that I could see with him uh, was really good. You know, like he's like so like soft spoken and meek that when there's something where he can kind of establish like a little bit of a physical presence, I thought that that was really great. Um, and I did not like Scott like throughout the whole movie, him dating a high schooler. You know, like five years is not that big of a deal. Like I said, when you're 30, but like when you're 22 and she's only 17 there is a huge maturity difference as we could kind of see, even though they were kind of on the same page at the same time. Um, I, I wasn't really a fan of that aspect of it. Um, but then he just kind of seemed awful. Like just, 
you know, um, really easy for him to get uh, disconnected from this person that, you know, he's dating. And obviously he just wanted a girlfriend and that's all it was. But um, and, and she would have probably been like a really good friend if there wasn't like this weird age difference. But uh, I, I really this there were so many things that were problematic about Scott. And I was just like, am I supposed to like him? And I don't think you really are supposed to like him. I don't think that you are supposed to cheer for him necessarily to win the entire time until he like gained self-respect. And that was like immediately when I was like, yeah, this is the Scott Pilgrim I like. So I think for me, it was just having somebody have self-respect that like was like the game changer for me. Now, I don't like it that it was the idea of like winning the girl at the end, but unless she wanted to be one. And definitely I thought her going back with Gideon meant that she didn't want to be one, but then you could tell that she wasn't really happy with that situation, uh, that she was kind of being forced into it. Um, I, I was kind of like, wait, now he's going to go back and be with knives at the end of all of this. Like, really, we went through all of that to just not have him actually win the girl. Um, and I, I like that it was actually her choice to want to be with him. Um, that's where I was just like, kind of through the whole thing I was like, well, what if she doesn't want to be with him? And the entire time I was like, this guy has no game. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the draw or the appeal was of Scott Pilgrim other than he was nice and safe. Um, dare I say, uh, dumb and, uh, impressionable maybe. <laughs> Although I didn't hate Scott. I just didn't like want to cheer for him because I was like, geez, I just I really want to like Scott, but I'm finding it really hard. And the other characters that I did like, I loved Wallace. I thought Wallace was great. Neil was great. Um, I really liked Kim. <laughs> I think that girl's name was Allison Pill. Is that her name? But it's really funny that I messed up Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Brie Larson and how similar they actually really look. Um, and I, I, a lot of the people that had parts in this movie, I can't say that I've ever really seen them play anything even remotely close. Like I've never seen Brie play somebody like that. I've never seen Brandon Routh or Ruth. I always forget how to say his name correctly, but for him to play the character that he did, like he plays an amazing Clark Kent. I thought he did great in the Superman movie he was in. Um, Adam, or is it Adam or is it, hmm. I forget now who he is in the Arrow universe, or was. I think they actually, spoiler alert, killed his character off, or wrote him off. One of the other things. But, like, I, I really like him in, like, a totally different role. And the fact that, like, there's a vegan school and there's vegan police. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I thought for sure Chris Evans would be in this a lot more, and Anna Kendrick, and... They were in it, but like they weren't like in it, in it. And it was kind of nice that like even though they had like these parts that we were really focusing on Scott and Ramona, sometimes knives. But like I said, I like the little moments that we have with Wallace and all the guys in his bed. Like I was very confused. Like when I was like, they're all clothed. Like, are they just spending the night? But I really liked Wallace. I really, really, really liked Wallace. Now, the the whole thing about the movie kind of being based on a video game and like them walking through the door at the end, like obviously it's not meant to really make sense. So I'm not going to try to make it make sense, but I found it very confusing at first. And then it was such an enjoyable world to be in. So no regrets on that whatsoever. I like the musical element that was uh, in it. Every time there was a fight, there was music going on, the battle of the bands, the battle of the exes. Um, I like how all of that was intertwined. Um, I can't say that the uh, music I feel like that was of an era. When was this movie done? Because it really reminded me of like, like the white stripes and like, is it the black keys that I'm thinking of? Yeah, it like definitely reminded me of a lot of like that music. Let's see, Scott. 2010. Yeah, I would say that it was like maybe 2005 to like 2015 that like the white stripes, black keys bands like that were kind of in. So it was very much in that musical genre. Um, I don't know if they can all play the instruments themselves, but if they can, impressive. I don't know if Brie Larson was the one that was singing, but impressive. I know that she is a singer um, and I've seen her actually play guitar on her like Instagram and sing along with it. So I know she can sing. Um, I think maybe she actually had a contract at one point too. So if they were doing all that and like, that's impressive. That's really impressive. Um, I don't know if Brandon Ralph Ruth 
whatever his last name, if he can play the bass like that, but impressive. Who's the guy? I, I know I sound like a complete moron when I say stuff like this, but Primus. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I couldn't think of Primus. I've seen Les Claypool play bass, and I'll say that that was pretty amazing to watch. Uh, so if Brandon can play like Les, then that's awesome. I can't, I'm really bad at remembering people's names. Not a lot of information gets stored up here and stays up here. Uh, but yeah, overall, fun movie, funny. Do not like the uh, high school relationship. I uh, thought that that was really weird and problematic. Um, and uh, it, it was a little icky. Um, thankfully, it was not the entire movie, although her obsession with Scott um, and, and like that's how teenage girls are with older boyfriends. So that was really icky to me. Um, but as, as I used to be a 17 year old girl, so I feel like I have a little bit of insight on that. Uh, but overall, I love the way that it was filmed. I love the way that it was edited. I love the music. I, I love the fight scenes, the lighting, the styles that they had, especially like when they're doing like power up punches, the the whole skateboard thing down the stair rail. Uh, and and uh, I really wish that we had gotten to see him bail. <laughs> so because all, like, all of a sudden there was just like an explosion. I was like, oh, robbed. I would have liked to have witnessed, I don't want to say his death, but like, we got all of the other ones. <laughs> Plus a little bit more Chris Evans would have done me really good. Um, really bummed that Anna Kendrick didn't have a bigger part, but you know, it was nice seeing her. Overall, not disappointed that I watched it. I would say out of five stars, I'd give this like a solid like three and a half, three and three quarters. Um, I feel like the uh, 17 year old thing, the high school relationship thing, just a little too gross for me. I'm always going to think about that when I think of this movie. Uh, but all the rest of it, phenomenal. Very fun. Very, very fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. If you want to watch the full length reaction, it's going to be available on my Patreon. Um, and, but in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. One, how did you feel about that relationship? Two, how did you guys feel about Scott throughout the entire movie? Because I was not cheering for him until the very end. I was like, I don't really care if he wins. Um, which fight was your favorite? Because I'm actually, I'm going to say the first one and I don't even remember what that guy's name is, but it was phenomenal. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that fight. And I really liked the, uh, the, the one with Brandon, <laughs> the vegan, Todd, the vegan. <laughs> thought it was great. But overall, fantastic movie. Uh, I think it's something that I would actually enjoy watching again and kind of like seeing all the little details because of like all the, the details about the players and like their strengths. And and uh, I, I'd really like to see all that. But if I missed anything, anything that you like was just like, like, oh, she missed it. She was talking. But like, if what was your favorite part of the, the movie? Because mine is like the fights. I think that's the best. I love the way it was lit. I love the way that the, the stylized like fighting. I, I loved all of it, except the damn 17-year-old relationship thing. I, I'm not going to be able to get over that. <laughs> Maybe I will upon further watches, but I doubt it. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see ya.